Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with uh, Park Industries Customer Service. And today I'm going to show you how to reference a machine. This will work on a Titan 1 or 2000 series, a Titan Fab Center, and a Fusion. And uh, what we're going to be doing it on today is a Titan Fab Center. And we are going to be referencing the Y-axis on this machine. It will be very, very similar to the X-axis on the Fab on the Fusion. Um, otherwise, any other axis. The concept is the same, but we will be doing it on the Y-axis on a Fab Center. So, if you change out gears or anything like that, uh, check your gears or your axes. If you have two axes on one. Um, two motors on one axis, then uh, we want to make sure we sync them up and everything. So I'm going to go to advanced setup here. And here we have a system on so our axis will match on our Y and Y2. On a fusion, it will be the X and X1, or X and X2. And these match. If you just put your gears up into the gear rack, then uh, we always want to, before we do a system on, make sure that these match before we do a system on. Otherwise, the machine will try to force it to make them match. And you can twist your bridge and get your bearings out of line. If it does not match, we would just capture the reference point for y-axis in our situation, x-axis on the fusion, and then we can hit proceed, and then yes. Then we want to cycle power next. It will give you an alarm and stuff, but we're going to exit out, and we're going to shut down the power down completely for one minute. So we'll take a brief break here and we'll cycle power, keep power off for one minute and we'll pull the, put power back on and start again here. Okay, so now we have our computer on, the front end is booted up. You will get an alarm saying that the position has moved. Um, that is fine. We will just hit OK. And before we do a system on or anything, we want to make sure, go to advanced setup. And right now you can see our Y and Y2 are 2000s difference. I am fine with that right now. Um, 2000 will be okay on this machine or a fusion. And uh, what we can do then is a system on and you will you will see the Y2 move to the same position as y, the Y1 axis. So, now that we have the motors synced up together and they match, now we wanna do our actual referencing of the machine. So each machine is different. The Titans, it'll be your Y axis here. You're on your X axis for fusions. And uh, what we're gonna do is just drive this on to the front proximity switch. So if you're on um, a Y axis with Titan or an X axis with fusion, you're gonna drive it all the way to the front of the machine towards your zero position. Or if you're vice versa on your X or Y, depending on Fusion or Titan, you're gonna drive that to the zero position. We're gonna go on just 10,000 increments here right now. And you can see in this top corner here, I'm on my Y axis and I can switch my positions or my speed. I'm on 10,000. And I'm also going to maximize my all, all my limits here so I can drive all the way forward. So I'll hit max, and to verify, you can see on the Z axis, it'll say max and min on there. 
The fusions may say set value to 0.999. There might be different wording depending on which version of the machine you have. But that button will be located right in the center of your screen. Now we're just going to drive this machine forward here. And all my limits are open, so it is possible I can crash. So I want to take it easy to make sure I don't uh, crash into the end here. If your bellow covers are very dirty or they're folded up in the wrong motion here, that can cause us some issues trying to get far enough forward. You can clean or remove your bellow covers if you need. Once I start getting close to the end of the machine here, then I want to pay more attention to my screen. And what we're going to focus on here is the green square for the y-axis. Green means that the proximity switch is not reading anything right now and we're not at the end of our travel. And it will turn black once we get to the end here. Once again, just taking it real slow to make sure we don't crash our machine into our hard stops. Right there, they just turned black. Now I'm going to reset my alarm because I will have a soft limit alarm and I'm going to switch to 1000 increments. I'm going to slowly drive the machine back and just verify that you are driving by looking in the top left corner. You'll see the position move a little bit. And I'm going to drive it back slowly until that black square for the y-axis turns green again. As soon as that turns green, I want to stop driving right there. So I'm going to stop, make sure that it stays on green there. And we're just going to capture our reference point. So now this is setting the end of the travel limit for the machine. We'll capture Y, you're going to hit proceed, and then yes, then we're going to exit out again, and now we're going to cycle power for one more minute. Complete shutdown and cycle. Okay, now that we captured our reference point, we powered back up, opened up the front end again, and we'll have the same alarm saying that it changed position. So we'll just accept that alarm, go back to our advanced setup screen, and we want to make sure before we do a system on that we um, check our positions. Now, you can see that the positions are a little bit off here. So with how small this is off, I'm going to do a system on and we're just going to double check it here. What I think happened was just because of the bellow covers that the machine, when it relaxes the motors, it pushed it a little bit. So I'm going to do a system on. You'll see it once again, the Y2 match with the Y1 axis. I'm going to just drive the machine. To the center here. And now what I'm going to do is just a simple e-stop just to make sure that the positions um, stay the same or that they don't move very far from each other. There we had 8 thou movement there. So 8 thou on fusion or something like that is just fine. Tighten, we want to get that a little bit tighter. So in this scenario here, I'm going to double check my backlash now. We have procedures on how to check backlash on our website also. So I'm going to double check my backlash and make it so I can get these a little closer when I hit my e-stop and the motors relax. 
that I don't have hardly any movement there. That's all it is for referencing. Um, if you do have a, if you're referencing on a Titan, you do want to double check tool pockets to make sure that it's changing tools good because we can move the position of the tool pocket a little bit by referencing like this. You also want to double check your laser and make sure you do a spindle to laser core test and fine adjust your laser into that core test. If you're on a fusion, double check your um, zero zero points and remark them and change them if you need to and also run a calibration square on that then. That's all I have for today. Let us know, give us a call, um, our customer service department a call if you do have any questions with this process. We can help you out. Otherwise, that is how you reference a machine. Thank you.